I'm going to show you how to use Flashcards Deluxe to make super amazing flashcards to study for TOEFL. If you start by downloading their application from the App Store for Apple or from the Android Marketplace, then you're looking for this program, Flashcards Deluxe, with that icon. So after you download it, you can continue watching this video. After you download Flashcard Deluxe to your phone, iPad, or other tablet, then you want to come to your computer and use Notepad. Okay, I've already started creating a list here with different words that I want to learn. So on the left, I have the new word. After it, I've got one tab space. I'm not pushing the space bar at the bottom of my keyboard. I'm pushing the tab, T-A-B button on the left side towards the top just one time and it will create this space. Then I've put the type of speech, adjective, and then I push tab again. This is important later because you have to push tab between these things to create the right divisions inside the flashcard. So then after that I wrote my sentence. My teacher was really vague about the assignment scoring criteria. At the end of it I pressed enter one time. Then I wrote my other word, widen, I pushed tab one time here, I wrote that it's a verb, and then I pushed tab again, and I wrote my sentence. So it's not difficult to start making a list of the new verbs, adjectives, and nouns that you want to learn. Here, after permeate, I push tab again. It looks longer, but it's still just one tab, so that's okay. Don't worry if your column is kind of funny looking, it doesn't matter because the program that we're using is going to remember it anyway. So here we've got our next verb permeate, but maybe I'm having trouble thinking of a good sentence. If you can't think of a sentence, I suggest visiting dictionary.cambridge.org and from this website you can look up lots and lots of words and find out not only how they're pronounced by clicking that little blue button there and listening to the American pronunciation, but you can also find some sentences for that. So here, these gray sentences show us some alternatives. Maybe this one seems funny to me. I like that one. So I'm going to highlight that, click Control C for copy paste. And now back here in my Word document, I'm going to push Control V and paste my sentence. Now, maybe this seems a little bit long to me. I don't want to talk about stale beer, so maybe I'm going to change this to something funny like uh, cake. Oh, that's better than beer. But then cake doesn't smell foul. It smells amazing. We could say an amazing smell of cake permeated the whole building. So now I've got my other word and my sentence. So you can keep going and make your list as long as you need to. Here I've added some other phrases like as far as I'm concerned and then after it I put one tab space and then phrase and then I put another tab space and then my sentence. Now it's okay if this looks like it's on two lines. It really doesn't matter because in a minute it will be fine and there will be no problems with it. So here with in conclusion I have another tab space and then my phrase and then another tab and then my sentence. Let's say that I'm done and I'm ready to put these on my tablet or on my iPhone. So I'm going to copy all this, push Control C. Now back on orangerapple.com's flashcard website, I'm going to click Upload. Here in the flashcard text, I'm going to press Control V. And again, it's okay if the spaces look a little bit strange between the words. If we highlight it, it's still just one tab, so we know everything is working fine. It's okay if the spaces are really small. Don't worry about that. Let's give it a deck code. You could actually download this too in a minute if you put this in. After we're done with that, we're going to put upload flashcards. Now I got this message up here at the top, flashcards uploaded. This is exciting. Now I'm going to check on my tablet. Here in my phone, I'm going to open up my flashcards application and I'm going to add a deck. It's really important here to press private deck. This is going to let me download all the words that I just uploaded to the website. Under deck code, I'm going to type in English teacher Jamie. This is exactly the same way and the same spelling that I used on the website just a minute ago. So when you make your deck code, every deck code will be different. 
Press save and then download the cards. Now you'll see that there's something new at the bottom of your list and you can check all your words, vague, adjective, and the sentence. You can swipe to the left and you'll see the next one, widen is a verb, and our sentence. So you can use these to quiz yourself by trying to remember the sentence that you've got. We can also change the settings. I personally prefer short-term goal or lightener for the card order, and I like setting my target streak at four so that it's not too challenging. And then I also like changing the maximum number of cards in the round to five. That keeps things from getting too frustrating. You can also choose which side you want to display first. This gives you more control later, but for now, we're just going to keep it on side one. But there are other options, just so you know that you can change it. Okay, so the next thing that we want to talk about is how to add sound. Come to edit the deck, and then edit the cards. From the list that you see, choose the word that you want to add sound to. Scroll down and click sound one. Now you can press record. To get the proper pronunciation, I'm going to come back and visit dictionary.cambridge.org and then click on the blue button here. Now, when I'm recording, after I press record, I'm going to hold my tablet or my phone next to the speakers of my computer and I'm going to press this so that I get the sound spoken by an American. After it's done, I can press stop. And then I can listen to what I've recorded by pressing play and check to make sure it's right. If I go back, I can see there's a new recording. And then I can just come back to my list, select the next one, go down and press sound, and repeat the process by using Cambridge Dictionary's website to record the audio file. So I can do this with all of my things and make sure that I've got audio files that are accurate with good pronunciation. Complete it with all the ones that you need to. And so then when you're done, you can press back and back again and say that you're done editing. This brings you back to the normal mode. And now when you look at your words, you can see that there's a play button. And when you click play, you'll hear the word spoken and recorded on your phone, which is awesome. So now every time you practice, you can be sure that you're getting the right pronunciation too.